Hi, thank you for watching Chisholm Ruby Yoga and Fitness. I'm Laura Wilson, and I show you, I take seniors from inactive to the fullest activity possible by showing you ways to modify exercises so everybody can find a way to keep moving and maintain their independence as long as possible. Today, we're gonna to look at our neck. We tend to have a lot of tension that we store up here at our neck and top of our shoulders, and that, uh, that reduces the range of motion that we have which particularly affects us when we're driving and we have to look and see what's behind us or if we're checking on grandkids or something in the back seat. We might not be able to turn our head as far as we need to to perform those basic daily activities. So we're gonna look at some things that we can do to increase that range of motion, release that tension, which will also release stress from the rest of our body and our mind. Our neck is right here, right next to our mind. So we want to see what we can do to relieve that tension. I'm going to do this seated, but you can do it standing. Um, probably better if you do it seated, just in case if you are prone to dizziness or anything like that, best to do this seated. So find that nice sturdy chair in your safe space. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already. Hit that like button as well so other people can find this video. And let me know in the comments. If you don't like these neck exercises, if you prefer full body workouts, let me know that in the comments so that I can plan appropriately for the future. So let's just begin sitting up tall and just noticing. We can close our eyes for a moment and maybe move our head all kinds of different ways and just notice what we're feeling. More than likely, we're feeling tension. One space that we always carry it, it's kind of like imagining that you're carrying a backpack and that area where the straps go over your shoulders right there at the base of your neck that's where we tend to carry our mental loads as well our stress loads as well so let's just shrug up and shrug down i'm going to do a little warm up of the area first and let's draw this down and just bring our chin to our chest Again, noticing what we're feeling in the back of our neck, we're going to do this as sort of a, a warm-up and assessment, taking our nose up toward the ceiling, but just looking towards the corner where the wall and the ceiling meet. We don't want to look all the way up. Let's come back to center, dropping one ear. doesn't matter which one, because now we're going to do the other. And just noticing how far we can go. And we're just going to do an easy turn to one side, just noticing how far it goes. And again, we're going to assess this at the end as well. So let's just kind of begin here. We're going to start with what's called proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, or PNF for short. We're going to take the heels of our palms and we're going to place them on our forehead and we're going to push our head forward into our hands while pushing our hands into our head. So we're going to feel some shaky tension back there at our jaw. Breathe, pressing as hard as we can, feeling that shaking and that tension right at, at, at that jaw area, right there at the front of our neck. And then we're going to release and just draw circles on the screen with our nose. Now let's take this the other way. So what PNF does is it tricks those stress receptors. If you've ever noticed, and this is a good example, if you've ever been hopefully just riding in the car, not driving in the car, and you kind of nod off and your head jerks up again, that's those stretch receptors in your neck, protecting it from getting stretched or pulled or sprained. So what the exercises that we're doing right now do is trick that or cause that muscle to relax so that we can get a greater range of motion. So let's interlace our hands and we're gonna place them at the back and just open up. Now that we've got support behind our head, we can open up and maybe even look up to the ceiling. So let's come back to center and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna push our hands into our head, head into our hands. This time, we're gonna feel that tension at the base of our skull. That's an area where we tend to get headaches, tend to feel a lot of tension and pressure. So let's add some extra pressure now. Feel that shaking going on? Keep breathing. 
And then we're gonna gently let our hands rest on our head. We're not gonna pull, we can just let our head go forward. So adding just a little extra stretch here, releasing any tension. And let's release from there, bringing our head back up. I'm just, I just feel like I have to do this. <laughs> We're actually gonna move side to side again. So dropping one ear any way you want to. Now some things we can do to accentuate, accentuate this stretch. We can drop this shoulder by pushing this hand in toward the floor. And if you want, use one or two fingers, only that to add a little extra. It doesn't take much to feel a little extra stretch here. So be careful. But you can do any combination of this that feels right. We want to drop and relax our other shoulder as well. Good bones. And let's release from there. Let's go to the other side. So again, we can just hold here, relaxing those shoulders. We can push our opposite hand down, drawing that shoulder down a little more. One or two fingers to add just a little bitty bit here. That's all it takes. And let's release from that. So we're going to look at our PNF again from twisting. So let's go ahead and just turn our head to one side. Check out that range of motion. Turn it to the other side. Or I tell you what, let's stay on that one side. See how far in it goes. Now, maybe it's gonna be the other side, so let's go to the other side. I'm sorry, I'll get this straight. So let's look to that first side, and what we're gonna do is take our hand, and we're gonna place it on our jaw. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna to try to turn our head back to the front while pressing our hand into it. So we feel that shaking going on in the side of our neck. And it's hard to talk, so I won't. Keep pushing. We want to hold this about 30 seconds for the most effectiveness. Let's release. See how far our head can go now. Let's go to the other side, same thing. We're gonna to try to turn our head back to the front while pushing into it with our hand right here. Make sure that our hand covers our whole jaw area. Keep pushing and trying to turn. Loosen it a little bit. Breathe. Keep pushing. Let's release, see how far this goes. A little bit further than before. Let's bring our chin to our chest and just release all of that that we just did. PNF is something that you want to do every other day. You don't want to do it every day. If you find that this does release your tension, let's take our hands to the back of our head, open up, head resting in our hands so there's no tension on our neck. We're going to look at one more exercise that hopefully will be a little surprise to you. Let's come back to the center. So let's take a look over that one shoulder again. See that my range of motion is a little more than it was before, but I'm going to see if I can make it a little bit more by massaging my ear. So you can go around your ear like this. I like to massage it like this. So let's just massage our ear all over for a moment. For some reason, this connects into our neck. It helps relax our neck. Let's turn. Ooh, even further. I can almost look behind me now. So let's do the other side. Just kind of look at what range of motion you have. And let's massage this one. So I learned about this one from a class that actually outright told me that it relaxes your muscles. But then within a week, I had taken my son when he was like, four years old, we were at the mall and they had a masseuse there. 
and he was massaging both my son's ears and he said that this is something that parents can do to help relax their babies and their kids and help them fall asleep. So let's see how this range of motion ends. Oh my goodness, a little further. So let me know in the comments if you did find a little greater range of motion after this ear massage. Anytime you want to relax, this is a quick and easy one. And I'm going to have to remember this one myself before I go to bed. Let, let me know in the comments. Remind me in the comments that the next time I do a bedtime yoga, to include the ear massage in it. All right? <laughs> anyway, thank you for sticking with me for this one. Let me know what you think of it and all the different exercises that we just did. Do you feel less tension? Let's drop our chin and see. I'm going a little further than I did before. Let's just take this without our hands up to the corner, a little more on time. Let's drop it over to one side, see if that feels any different. Yeah, my ear itches. It didn't like getting that massage so much. It wants more. Drop it over. And of course, we've already looked at the side to side, which is cool. So let's just do those shoulder circles again. And I'm going to beg you again to subscribe to the channel if you have not. Ask your friends to do so. Hit that thumbs up button for me, please. See you next time.